Hi there. Welcome to the 12 Days of Copilot, and I'm your host, Michael Gennati. And today we're on day nine. Am I doing it right? Yeah, nine. Nine out of 12. And we're going to be taking a look at Copilot in OneNote. And I love this one because although yesterday with the loop, when I mentioned how it worked, I'm leveraging loop extensively for managing virtual teams and other things that I'm doing. I actually use OneNote on a daily basis for my blacksmithing hobby. I, I have a hobby blacksmith. I have a forge here on my property. And I love OneNote because I use it to manage everything from to-do items, you know, my to-do lists around that. I have those in there. I've got, uh, I have uh, categorized hashtags where I'm doing social media posts. I've got step-by-step -step instructions and resources that I've gleaned from around the internet for all kinds of processes. And I can take it anywhere I want, including on my phone, which is always in forge with me. But OneNote is a great tool. People use it extensively at work globally. And there are some great scenarios that we can use that for. So without any further ado, let's head over to our screen view. And we're going to be starting off with some idea generation. So in this use case, the first one, I have a blank page here. We want to go ahead and we have this concept of, and actually, let me, no, we're going to just keep it that way. Um, I've already been playing around back and forth. Uh, and some of the data might show up, but that's that's fine. So we're going to go ahead. We want to do a kind of a idea generation around uh, helping customers to understand the benefits that the Microsoft Viva Suite can bring from, you know, really increasing that employee experience, employee engagement in an org, which we know are uh, really predicates for having a solid work experience and work life where people really want to stay and they're stay loyal to their organizations, keeping all that tacit knowledge and everything intact within an org. So what we're going to do is get some ideas. I'm going to copy. I have a lot of stuff pre-done here today. We're going to open up Copilot. There it is in the flow of work. And it looks like, oh, yep, it did bring this. But I'm going to scroll on up just to show you the out of the box. So we've got the summaries, draft a to-do list, list pros and cons, um, or some of the suggestions. Of course, we're going to come down here where we can free type and do things. And we can also, and I'm looking around my laptop to the big screen, um, we can also use the microphone and just talk to it. But we're going to go ahead here and paste in our prompt. And we are then going to hit the send button. And so it's going to provide me the answer here on the side to move then into my OneNote where I think appropriate. Right? So it's going to go ahead. It's finishing up some ideas here. And there we go. It's uh, it's not quite done. There we go, and it's finished. It also has some follow-up uh, questions or uh, prompts here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. We'll just drop that here into our page, and I'll say, call this page social media campaign. There we go. And so it's given us some ideas. It does let you know the response isn't based on the current section. We're going to see ones that are in just a bit. Uh, but in this case, this is based off of information, not from this one note, but from our Microsoft 365 instance. So here you go. You can see it's given some ideas around sharing success stories, creating visually appealing graphics, running contests, collaborating with industry influencers. Um, and creating branded hashtags for a campaign. All great ideas. That's awesome. It also gives us some suggestions for some follow-up. So I'm just going to go ahead and that it has here, what are the features of Viva? So we'll let it create some of that. Again, we're, we're doing research. We're generating content and ideas to get ready to do this campaign. So not only does it do what I prompted to, but then it's, it's saying, hey, based on what you asked me to do, there's some other things that you might find valuable as a part of this. In this case, you know, some descriptions that I could use in my social media campaign. So I'll go ahead and grab that. We'll just put that here and paste it in. And again, it says 
that it's not uh, from the current section. And then it gets into this whole piece around some of the uh, capabilities. Um, we also have, you know, like what is Viva? What is Viva Connections? So maybe I start asking about individual modules, getting more in depth explanations, and I can continue to free type. But the idea is it allows me to really do idea generation here natively for OneNote in that capacity that it just excels at in pulling together thoughts, ideas, notes, all in one spot. But what about when we've already taken notes? When I used to be an architect in the Microsoft Technology Center in uh, Pennsylvania near Philadelphia, frequently we'd have, have the big uh, Surface Hub. I miss having a Surface Hub. I just have to say that. That was the, the best thing for working interactively, either in person or remote with customers. Uh, but I'd have the big Surface Hub and we would do notes and I would have one note up. And so we would see stuff on web pages, you know, we refer to and we grab that because at the end we gave them the output of our OneNote, right? At the end of a session. And that included content that we referenced on the internet or our intranet or documentation, pulling it all into these notes um, and included uh, drawings we were doing, all that kind of stuff. So to simulate that, I went out onto the internet and I went to this Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365 overview page in the documentation. I copied the page and pasted it here. So there's a lot of stuff, right? There's a lot of stuff, but then at the end, one of the things we used to do is summarize everything that went on and we would kind of write up and bullet point out a summary as a part of that output so that that could be front and center, and then they could drill into the things about it. But here is where Copilot, again, makes our job much easier. So we're gonna go ahead and let's just close it. We're gonna, we're gonna follow step-by-step -step instructions, and I'm gonna send you a link that's gonna give you these and a whole range of other scenarios that you can check out and try yourself. Great way to get yourself immersed and in how you can really start leveraging this. Um, there's a really cool example they give uh, for legal, right? It's around a deposition and getting information, pulling it all together. It's, it's rock solid, cool. So, but anyway, here we go. We're gonna take this one and to create a summary, we're gonna first navigate to the page that needs summarizing. Here it is, just widen that out a bit. And, uh, then it says on the home ribbon, select Copilot, just like we did earlier. So we select in the flow of work, Copilot, it's going to open up. And then from here, and actually, let me come over here and move myself. I'm blocking that little dialog box. There we go. Beauty of this is I can move. Ooh, we're here, we're there. We come on back here. All right. So we're going to go ahead here and in this dialog box, it, it, it tells you to create a summary of the notes on this page. This is from that deposition. We're gonna change that up though. Control C, I'm gonna come on back here and I'm gonna go ahead and say V. So we're gonna create a summary of the notes on this page and we are going to say that we want to place is that a capital P place the events into a bullet points. That great. Control C or place the summary summary ideas into bullet points. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kind of drop that down. Just a little tip, and this is for you. There's a lot of examples of prompts out there. Take prompts as they are, drop them into OneNote, and then edit it for what you're trying to do. There's lots of ones that fit what you're doing, but, the, but it's on a specific task that's not your task. Just change it up for your task and keep, keep a bank of them, but it'll start to help you learn some good prompting. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna paste this in. There we go. We're gonna hit send. 
And it's now looking at the notes, this note page, right? And all the content out there. And it's going to summarize this page for me in a much shorter format that I can easily digest. So it's getting ready to finish up here. So there we go. So, you know, clearly much shorter. It's also given some follow up prompts that we might want to consider. I'm going to come on down here, say copy, and then we're going to take the lengthy notes that were taken, drop that down here. We'll just come up again. This is what I used to do as an architect at the end of the day, but we manually did it. We reviewed and then below one, blah, blah, blah. Um, so here it is. And it says, according to this page, and we can bring this up. And it has Microsoft 360, Copilot for Microsoft 365 is an AI powered productivity tool that integrates with Microsoft Graph and Microsoft 365 apps, like OneNote that we're in now. And then it goes on. So it's taken the lengthy page of all that information, created some bullet points to condense down the main ideas. Beautiful. We can all use that. Uh, the final thing is we could navigate and start to do, for example, a to-do list, you know, kind of the what are the things and tasks? Now, I'm not going to do it around this page because there are no tasks. However, if we come back to this page that we made, right, it already, this is kind of already has these ideas here. So a little redundant, but think about where you have a long page and during it in the notes you have to do's and things you want to actually draw. Maybe you had a very lengthy uh, meeting in Teams and you captured that and took the transcript, dumped it in here. I could then run it against it. So what we're going to do, we already have this open, um, but we're going to go ahead and say extract. We're going to take theirs. And I'm going to keep it. I'm going to take just half of their piece. We'll drop that in here again to modify. It says extract a to-do list from the new roll notes. So I'm going to say extract a to-do list from the notes on this page. Simple, easy peasy, all right? So we're going to go ahead and drop that in. Boom. Hit the send. And now it's going to do its thing. Now, granted, again, this is already pretty condensed. But if you think about doing things in terms of a longer... Uh, period here we can see that it, and it's it's actually building on these and giving you a little more info share the success stories um and then it goes on it gives the link it almost is a one-to-one -one correspondence pretty pretty uh right on there but then i can come in again we can drop that wherever we're at boom and then it has what are you know again follow-up questions that you might want to consider but just a couple of quick examples. OneNote is really just this great tool, for consolidating ideas, helping you to build out and flesh out that content is your assistant in Copilot, helping you to analyze those lots of notes that you've taken, summarize them, extract the things that you need to do out of, you know, a whole meeting or multiple meetings that might be. Uh, represented here in a, in a document like this, or maybe people grabbing, you know, information from the internet for deployment and rolling out things. One, one note with Copilot is there to help you with that and to simplify it. So with that, take a look at take a look at the resources. Try it for yourself. This is Mike Giannotti here. Uh, one thing I will tell you: make sure you're doing because a lot of people use OneNote both personally and professionally. So when I first went to do this demo and I set up a OneNote, I didn't bother going into OneDrive. I just set it up and the last settings were for my personal. So then when I went to do some of this, it said authentication because it was in my OneDrive in live.com, not work. Make sure you start, get a notebook or that you already have in your OneDrive or under a Teams or whatever the case is in your work environment or create one there, then get to work. But with that, Mike Giannotti bidding you have a great day. Tomorrow is the 10th day of Copilot. Have a great one. Take care.